it's Sam from Raggedy Bits. Just jumping on here today to share with you a recent little project that I made uh, from a wooden plate that I found in our local uh, thrift store here in North Richmond. Um, it already had an existing paint job on it. Um, so all I've done to prep so far is I gave the entire plate a really good clean with uh, TSP because it had existing like grubby marks and all that sort of stuff. So I wanted to give it a good clean and I've painted it uh, using fusion, uh, sorry, casement, and I've popped on two coats, letting each coat obviously dry in between. And next up, uh, I've just started to cut out uh, some of the lavender elements from the paint, IOD painterly florals decor transfer. I really loved how uh, they sort of went with the casement. So uh, you could use any of the uh, the elements in the decor transfer if you wanted to. There's some lovely sunflowers and roses and all that sort of stuff. But for today's project, I decided to go with the lavender. And I'm just cutting out the out, outer wreath um, that is one, part of the one of the elements in the uh, set. And I'm just um, gonna apply that to the outer rim of the plate. So now just taking the applicator in that is included in the pack of decor transfers, I'm just gonna, now going to uh, gently burnish that onto the plate. So if you haven't used one of these uh, decor transfers before, um, you'll notice as you're rubbing onto it that the trans the color of the transfer becomes like a whitey cleary whitey kind of color that just means that it's sort of starting to go across onto whatever surface that you're popping um, the transfer on so you just want to keep moving that it around and just lifting just to make sure that everything's um, going on okay and if you happen to see that a little bit of the transfer is left behind that's okay uh, you can just simply lay the transfer back down again and rub over it again to make sure it's adhered properly. So once you've got that wreath all nicely adhered to your plate, uh, you just want to want to go ahead now and create the design on the center part of your plate. I just ended up using the spray, the lavender spray that is in the center of the reeds in the pack. Uh, I just thought it looked really pretty um, and soft as a nice sort of kind of soft design in the center of the plate. I just found it really easy to uh, sort of cut those circles out by bent, like gently folding it in half, making sure that the backing sheet's still on because if you try and do that and it's off, um, you're going to end up having your decor transfer stick together, which is <laughs> gonna end up in a bit of a mess. So I just sort of folded it in half and made uh, a cut mark, and then it was just a little bit easier for me to cut out um, the center part of that lavender spray.
Now just taking some 120 grit sandpaper and I've just wrapped that around a sanding block. Just gives me something a little bit more to hang on to. I'm just going around the edges of the plate and distressing it. It was actually kind of cool as I was distressing this particular plate because the original finish must have been um, like a really dark color. It's almost, it, it looks very black. Um, so the contrast between the white and the black really gave it a nice authentic chippy look. But if you are wanting to achieve this sort of look, uh, you could do this by just simply painting, um, before you paint, paint in casement, just give your piece two coats of Fusion Coal Black. Now to just seal in all your hard work, you're just want to, going to want to seal it. Uh, and I'm just using a clear wax here, applying with my wax brush. Uh, if you are doing this uh, on a tray, which is a bit more of a high and you're going to actually use your tray, I would recommend uh, sealing it with the Fusion Tough Coat. Uh, that's just going to give it a little bit more protection um, because it is a, a high used uh, piece. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's a quick and easy project that you can make in one afternoon. I'll be sure to leave all the links uh, of all the products that I've used along with the blog tutorial um, that you can find over on my website. And I look forward to bringing you some more fun DIYs.